done before I bathed him was to brush him through from head to foot so that I know we've got no tangles. It's a really must, must do before you bath your dog. Um, what I'm going to do is use that white tooth comb, the poodle comb, um, whilst I'm drying in. I'm also going to use a brush um, just to keep, keep working the coat, keep working the coat. Yes, I'm a groomer and I do have industrial strength dryers, but because this is for everybody at home, I'm going to dry them with an ordinary hair dryer. I like this one because you can go hands free with it. It's a wild dryer and it's got its own stand, so it works quite well. But an ordinary hair dryer, you don't, you don't want to be blasting having his coat because you can get what's called um, knots. They, they basically it slips around and it knots on itself. So just a gentle heat for drying. Now before I start, I will put some detangler spray in him. The actual process of bathing can cause tangles. And I also like to protect the hair with just a tiny bit of oil on the ends um, from the heat. So it's just an ordinary L'Oreal, one that I would use on my own hair. Uh, extraordinary oil and I just very, very gently put it on the ends. And this is just to protect his hair from the actual drying process. I do not want to be weighting his fur down with, with oil. It's just a very, very light. Helps the coat to drop down. Rub the hands together. I've got this on here, in case you're wondering why, why that. That's because I've got a big grooming table because I do do big dogs. And if I give him the full access to the table, he will stand over there and he'll absolutely cripple me back trying to do it. So this is just a way to bring him over here. But if you have a look at the video on equipment, you'll see that I recommend you get a table for grooming, have a knees. If you're going to get a have a knees, you're going to need to groom, no matter what coat you keep them in, because they've got such a profuse coat. So the best thing you can invest in is a grooming table from day one, uh, and you will get your money's worth out of it. So um, I've got a detangler spray on, I've got a tiny bit of oil, and I'm just going to go in and dry the, the most of the moisture off now. I'm using a comb, they're not the same, it's a bit battered this one, but you don't have the bubbles on the ends and they're not going to damage the comb. So dry and brush, dry and brush. Start at the bottom and I work my way up. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm just using the slickers on here to separate the coat and get the air in and it will help it dry. Um, so it's just, if you've got a bit that feels, you know, more moist than the rest, use your slicker to separate the hairs and get them dry. And the last thing is his face. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie my hair out of the way. And so I can hold his head because they tend to drop the head. I'm going to put the hair dryer behind my head. So that I can blow, if you can see, I can blow the dog but I've got two hands as well. So up. Hair dryer is gently blowing his hair dry. And I've got control as well. You just want to make sure your hair is out of the way of the hair dry so it doesn't get sucked in. Another way you can do it is to put it under your arm, like that. And you can do that one as well. It just gives you control. Two hands free whilst you're drying the dog. Just a little tip there for you. gentle heat around the face, you really don't want to have any 
heat on your dryer, they don't like heat on the face. So it's more or less on a cold setting now. And make sure you give the ears a really thorough brush from the top and from the underneath. This is the bit down here you really want to get into the room. I don't like air going in the ear, so what I'm actually doing is I'm holding the ear closed while I do the hair around the ear. So I'm keeping that gap there closed that I really don't like to have air inside the ear. dried his head off because he's going in a top knot and I prefer it just slightly slightly damp I think it stays in better So I'm going to separate his hair, I'm going to plait it today. It's best keeping it out of the, the face and her eyes. That's the section I'm going to plait. This is just a loom band, but the best things to use are dental bands. Let's start here. In fact, we'll use a different colour. I'm using one of these with just a pointy end on. They're only pound shop combs, but they make it easier to plait hair. Sky head up. Head up is a, it is an important thing to teach them so that you can do their or sometimes I get them to put the head down like that and then I can do the hair. We don't want to do that today, Sky. So let's just go in and plait. Awesome. We don't want to be taking any of his ear hair in. Just this top knot. Okay, we're just going to secure that with a band. Um, this is just a loom band, but dental bands are the best things for the hair, really. What I will say is you don't pull the band out when you come to redo it. So we just hang on, Sky. Don't pull the band out, cut it out, then you don't pull it through the hair and damage the hair. Lightly brush through, make sure I'm happy with it. Stand, Sky. Stay, stay. <laughs> Good boy, aren't you? Clever boy. He's a clever boy, aren't you? Gorgeous boy. Hold well on. Stay.